Hello everybody, and today we're going to be doing uh, a cardio and core workout. It won't be specifically anything, uh, it won't be yoga, um, but sometimes it's good to include some cardio and some, uh, some, some weight bearing exercises in your yoga practice, keep your heart rate up, help your endurance. And joining me today is my great friend Jackie. Um, so you really will only need a little space in your living room. We're doing it, uh, our workout here poolside in beautiful Bequay, which is part of uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So if you see us sweating a lot and you're sweating a little less than we are, it's because we also have the uh, benefit of a 30 degree sunshine on our bodies right now. So, all right, let's come down into a squat with wide legs. Press your hips back. That's it. Keep your tailbone and your chest lifted. So your tailbone moving up and back, chest moving forward. You stay where you are, Jackie. Excellent. Pick up your toes. That's it. Try to squeeze your glutes. We're going to go up and down. Ready? Up and down. Touch your elbows to your knees. That's it. Press the hips way back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together as you come up. That's it. Let's do four more like this. Exhale up. Two more. Last one. We're going to bring up the right leg back into the squat. Bring up the left leg back into a squat. Plunging the hips back, reaching up. Keep going. A little deeper, wider legs, jacks. That's it. Get back into those hamstrings. We're going to do one more on each side. Right. Left, now we're gonna come up, we're gonna take the right leg right. Go ahead. Now back down, left leg left. Right leg right, left leg left. Try to touch your palms with your extended leg, your toes. Kick your hand, that's it. Keep going. Excellent. Let's do four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Let's come back into our squat. Pulse back. All right, put your palms down. Step back into a plank position. Chest forward, heels back. Slow counts down for a count of two. Press up in one. Down for a count of two. Press up in one. Down for a count of three, two, one. Press up. Down for a count of three, two, one. Press up. Down for a count of four, three, two, one. Press up. You can always do this from your knees. Four, three, two, one. Press up again. Four, three, two, one. Press up. Last one. Four. Three, two, hold here. One. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Press up. Bring your right foot forward. Take your left foot and tuck it behind your right so both knees are bent. Imagine you're trying to sit onto your left heel and then come back up. Your weight is moving back. That's it. Back. That's it. All the way up. All the way down all the way down that's it keep going load your front leg weight in your right heel draw those hips back that's it work your right quad we're going to stay down in pulse 16 15 14 13 11, 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 1 we're going back down to the floor Planting the palms, stepping into plank, down for a count of four, three, two, one, up and one. Four, three, two, one, up and one. Four, three, two, one, up and one. Let's go down in four, three, two, one, hold. Two more breaths. All the way up, step your left foot forward, tuck your right foot in behind your left. That's it. Imagine you're trying to sit on your right heel, 
all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down. Work into the back of the left thigh. Left hamstring, left glute. Keep going. Keep going. A few more. Three, two. Let's come down and pause. Nice and low. 16, 15, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Let's go all the way back down to the mat. That's it. Really fast. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Keep your knees up. Come onto your forearms. That's it, stay here. Pull the belly muscles in. Pulse your hips up a little. Little pulses. Squeeze the core. Thirty-two. Thirty-one. Thirty. Twenty-nine. Twenty-eight. Twenty-seven. Twenty-six. Twenty-five. Twenty-four. Twenty-three. Twenty-two. Twenty-one. Twenty. 19, keep going, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, keep going, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, all right, put your knees down, make sure they're padded, if, you have, uh, if your floor is hard, make sure you pad your knees, your hands are under your shoulders. Right leg goes back. That's it, left arm goes forward. Kick your right heel up. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your low back. That's it, wide shoulder blades. And then pull those belly muscles in. That's it. Keep kicking up that right heel. All right, left arm's gonna reach to the left, all the way out to the side. That's it, right leg's gonna go to the right. Pulse your heel up. That's it, you can do it. Squeeze the right glutes. Find your core. Keep going. Four, three, two. All right, put your left hand down. We're gonna rotate so now we're in side plank with our left knee down. Pulse the right heel up. That's it, squeeze the glutes. Should be feeling those glutes on the right by now. You feeling them, Jax? Oh yeah. Okay. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, all right, we're gonna spin down. The right knee comes down. The left leg goes back. The right arm goes forward. Pulse up with your left heel. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your core. Don't let that belly drop. That's it. A few more like this. Keep working the glutes. We're taking the right arm out to the right. We're taking the left leg out to the left. Pulse with your left heel. Try to keep your heel turned up, your toes turned down. Excellent, we're gonna take that left leg back, the right palm down. We're turning into this variation of side plank with our right knee down, the left leg high. Pulse up. Squeeze your back muscles. This side fatiguing more quickly than the first side because we were supporting our body weight with our left hip. 
while our right leg was extended. We're going to try to hold on. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We're back onto our hands and knees. We're going to tuck our toes and hover our knees. That's it. Now your elbows are going to go straight back. We're going to bend the elbows straight back when the knees tap. By bending the elbows, then we're straightening the arms again. So it's tiny. It's tiny. That's it. Work your triceps. Work the muscles between the shoulder blades. Keep going. Knees tap, arms straighten. Just a few more. Work those triceps. Excellent. Keep going. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come to standing. Good job. Excellent. We're going to come back to our wide leg position. Get nice and low. Excellent. Just pulse your hips up and down like you're turning on a light switch with your tailbone. All right. This is where we're going to rest after we do our heel, heel claps. All right. A few more. All right. The first option for this next exercise is you're just going to step in, step out. Next is you're going to hop out in. Final option, you're going to jump, clack your heels together, land in the squat. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and now into that squat pause. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, ten more. Ten, eight, six, four, three, two. Into that squat. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten more. Into that squat. Exhale. Two, ten more. Last round. Squat, squat, squat. A few more. And last round. Ten, eight, ten, five, three, two. Pause in your squat. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Whew. We're gonna come into some core work now. Just put a towel down. Whew. How are you feeling, Jackie? Great. Awesome. Laying onto our backs. If you need to catch your breath first, go ahead. We're gonna lay onto our backs and start with some simple crunches. Hands behind your head, feet are firmly planted. I'm going to count out rounds of five. We're going to do 10 rounds of five. Try to keep your shoulders up. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. 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 Let's do two more. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Lay onto your back, grab the backs of your legs with both hands and bring your inner thighs so they hug. Now take your legs straight up and point your toes. Take your arms back, open your palms towards the sky, pause here. Try to feel your low back get nice and wide. <sighs> 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 
Take your legs further forward, just pause here. A little bend in the knees for some of you if your low back feels compromised. And forward pause. We're gonna take our legs forward until our heels are hovering just over the floor. And then we're gonna crisscross the heels. I'm gonna count out 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two. All right, excellent. Put the soles of your feet back on the mat. Bring the soles of your feet together so your knees are open. Reach your arms back, your palms face one another. Take a deep inhalation here. As you exhale, sit up. Try to keep your feet down. Exhale up. <coughs> Inhale back. Exhale up. <coughs> Inhale back. Exhale. <coughs> Let's keep going. <coughs> Squeeze your core muscles the whole time. Ten more. Ten. Excellent. From here, we're going to lay onto our backs again, and we're going to sit on the edges of our hands. <clears throat> so I've got my thumb and my index finger under the sides of my hips. My arms are straight. I'm straightening the legs, and I'm squeezing my glutes. I'm going to lift both legs at once and gently tap my he heels against the floor. It almost feels like there's a bounce. Focusing on the low abdominals. That's it. Now I'm gonna switch and hammer one heel at a time and really squeeze those low abdominals for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Now I'm gonna go back to both legs. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now I'm gonna hammer heels one at a time. 10, 9, Eight. You're gonna feel hip flexors as well. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Both legs. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hammer one heel at a time. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Both. Hammer one at a time. One more round after this. Squeeze the abdominals. Four, three, two, one. Both legs. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one. Hammer one heel at a time. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Good stuff. From here, we're just gonna roll onto our side. I'm gonna start with my right forearm down. Maybe Jack, you'll do her left so you can see us both from the front. You can do this with your knee down. So you'll be in this position or you can stack your legs. That's it. Put your left hand behind your head or Jack, you'll put her right hand behind her head. Whatever side you're on, you wanna start to squeeze the abdominals as you twist towards the floor. And then inhale up and exhale, squeeze. And inhale up and exhale, squeeze. We're gonna do this just seven more times, exhaling down. Exhale. Five, 
four, three, two. Next time we twist down, we're gonna stay twisted down. Pulse your hips away from the floor. Nine, eight, seven. Push away with the forearm. Four, three, two. Let's do another round. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Drop your hips down. Put your left leg, or your top leg in front of your bottom leg, and start to pulse up the opposite leg. So we're going to work the inner thigh, the adductor. Also gives us a moment to catch our breath. You can still squeeze the core muscles here. We'll do 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Excellent. You can release that. Before we do the left side obliques or right side, depending on what you started, we're going to sit up, put the soles of our feet down, put our hands behind us, pick our hips up. That's it. So this, you can stay right here, or you can gently walk forward, crab walk, and walk back. And walk forward, you're working the backs of the arms, and walk back, and walk forward, and walk back, and forward, and back. We're gonna do a few more of these. Keep your hips high. Again, and back. One more time forward. One more time back. Now we're gonna pause here. You can let your hips drop. You're gonna pulse through the backs of your arms, bending and straightening the elbows. That's it. Keep your shoulder blades squeezing. Keep going. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, you can let your hips come down. So whatever side you did the last time, we're gonna start on the opposite side. So I started on my right arm, now my left forearm is down. Again, you can put your knee down. You can do this with the knee down for extra support, or you can straighten the legs, stacking the legs like side plank. Ready? Inhale here, exhale, twist down. Inhale up, exhale, twist. Eight more like that, squeeze as you exhale. Let's do four more jacks. Let's finish off with one more and we're gonna pause and pulse. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Press away with the forearm. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, you can let your hips come down. All right, so we're back onto our sides here. We're gonna just work the left inner thigh. We're gonna do um, four rounds of 10, and you're pulsing up through the inner thigh. You're trying not to just press your hip, your left hip or your right hip, whichever side you're on. Try not to press it into the floor to execute the movement. And we'll just keep pulsing. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're gonna do ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's release. We're gonna come to a seated position, both legs out in front of us, still hugging the inner thighs together here. Reaching forward, hug the shoulder blades together. Think of this as a back exercise. And just sink back. Eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to lay all the way down onto our backs. Shins parallel to the ceiling. Big toes touching with the knees turned out. Pick up your head, neck, and shoulders and put your elbows on your knees. That's it. As you exhale, draw the knees and elbows together. As you inhale, open them up. As you exhale, draw them together. As you inhale, open them up. Only eight more. Five, four, three, two, pause, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cross your ankles, rock up, come over onto your front. <clears throat> Lay on your belly. <clears throat> Reach your legs back one at a time to open up the hip flexors. Excellent. Reach your hands back, interlace your fingers. Pick your chest up and pick your legs up. Straighten your arms. Keep the shoulder blades hugging and release the arms. Reach wide, palms down, and swim with the legs. Working from the glutes, finding the low back muscles. 18, 17, 16, 15. Hug the shoulder blades together. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and one. Put your hands under your shoulders, your legs down. Press up to your hands and knees and sink back for child's pose. Put your glutes towards your heels, your arms forward, your forehead down or towards the floor. Breathe into the low back. And then just reposition your hands, reach your hands back with your palms up. Five more deep breaths. All right, coming all the way up. So that completes our little uh, core cardio toning session by the pool. I'd like to thank Jackie for joining us again today. Have a great day, everybody. Namaste.